garage update. <clears throat> this is where we're at. This is the front section right here, and we'll walk around here in a second. And uh, I already had a back door on here. Insulated. And there's the new section back there. So this wall, this is all coming down and rebuilding it because these are short walls. This wall is still going to be here. There's still going to be a divisor here. It's going to be a nine foot wide by eight foot door sitting here. I'm getting rid of this door. So I'm going to replace it with a new door. And I, um, since the ceiling is going to be higher out, these are low headroom kits up here. Okay, you can see. I actually ended up raising that one up above. It used to be down there and you can see right there. This is the main reason why I'm taking this one down. I want to get nice high 10 foot walls in here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do storage trusses up above and you build a walk upstairs and be like a pull down ladder or some sort of deal over here. But this is all coming out. So basically it's going to be like this. It's going to be a one bay work area here with a lift sitting here on either side. Just a two post lift. You'll be able to fit there. You can see where the Camaro fits. There's plenty of room to walk on here. And then there's going to be the entry door right there. And then I have cabinets going along here. The upright cabinets. Black ones like right over there. Okay, those will be along this whole wall right here, all the way across, and then these will be countertop cabinets across here. Not all the way. Probably going to stop somewhere around, around in here, and then I'm going to do a wheel balancer and a tire changer in this area over here, and then the post will be here. It's going to be tight, but I think it'll fit. But you can see with the Camaro in here, there's plenty of room around the whole Camaro, and this is 24 feet long. So this total garage length you can see is going to be 44 feet. So this side will be heated and insulated, and I'll basically keep from freezing. And then uh, when it, uh, this predicted snow, really heavy, I'll roll up this door and put the truck in because the truck's too long to fit up there. I'll put the truck in, just back it in right here, just so I don't have to deal with the snow on the truck in the morning before work. But all the blocks up, rebar's installed, the hurricane ties are installed. I finished core filling all the block today. Um, and then uh, we're gonna start framing his in a week. And then uh, when his is done being framed, we're going to frame this one, which is probably not for a month, maybe a little longer. So that's the bummer part. I get to sit here and stare at it and dream, so to speak, about having a bigger garage. So I'm going to build this rear section first, take all the siding down, whatever, build it all first, move everything from there into here, you know, at the same time sorting out and get rid of garbage and all that stuff. And then probably in the spring, I'm going to knock this front one down. <clears throat> and continue the build all the way across. I'll go through and I'll add a roll block all the way around, just like here. I'll end up pinning it first, then add the roll block and rebar it and do the same thing. The entry door is not going to be there anymore. It's going to be in the front. The electrical panels will be moved over there. And then basically you'll have an entry door on that side over there. And that's only a 30 inch door. I'm going to change it to a 36 over there. And then we're going to do different cabinets in here across, I think, just that wall there and not anything on the back wall so we can have the, the depth here. <clears throat> that and the pull-down ladder. We'll have to, I'll have to sort that out. I haven't decided how we're going to do that yet. And then we'll do some sort of cabinetry in here and stuff. And I'm, this is the cabinets my wife's going to be using for her, her whatever stuff. Um, she just want, I just need to give her a place out here to put her stuff. I'm going to sort all this out and basically have all my stuff and cabinets in the back here and get this all cleaned up. Because these benches, um, these benches will end up moving to the shed over there. Believe it or not, that is a shed. It's a, basically a one-car garage I built as a shed. Um, these benches are going to end up going inside of there, and that'll be more of a more suited for uh, being a garden shed. There's some cheapy ones in there now. You can see there's a garage door on there. That's a seven by eight garage door. I built that uh, in 2000, my first ever built project. So, but that's where we're at. That's this week. Uh, this is a week before, or a week and a half before Halloween. So we're at the end of October of uh, 2018. I've been planning this out for... It's, it's got to be going on 15, 16 years. I'm planning out how I want to do this and, and kind of figure out what I want to do and finding materials I want to use and things like that. And then other projects came up. But I still got to fix that. I did that uh, about six years ago. I built the addition on there. I'm going to tear that second floor roof off and extend that all the way up as well because those are knee walls. or five-foot knee walls up there. This house is 120 years old. And I've lived here since 95 and basically gutted it and rebuilt it and piece by piece by piece by piece. Did it all by myself. 
well, with minimal help here and there, but mostly by myself. Uh, I, I've learned over the years I hate mud and taping, so I just don't do it. And after this venture here, um, I'm going to let the guys, the professionals, stick with the flat work. I can do the footings, that's not a big deal. The flat work is just an art form, just like mud and taping, it's an art. It takes a particular skill, and it just isn't b between renting the equipment and, and the time it takes to do it, and I don't, I don't have the experience, it just isn't worth it. So I'll, I'll, it was worth paying these guys to do the flat work. They did a really good job. <clears throat> a lot better than I would have done. I uh, rented the saw and I saw I cut it myself. So, but yeah. Block work done. I did all the block work. So. Alright, thanks for watching. Oh, don't want to rob you guys from a cold start. Well, semi cold start. I've been sitting on for about an hour. So, let's fire up the Camaro and run it back in the garage. One of these days, I need to go through this whole entire car and do a rundown. Do that video for you guys and, and run it, but, you know, just been too busy. Huh, thanks for watching.